Recently we looked at a pair of POC or network radios on the channel that used the real PTT app to talk around the world. Today I wanted to show you another set by a different company that use a different app, Global PTT. This is a really solid and rugged device that has a multitude of uses for the hobbyists such as hiking and camping and I also get queries from people running car meets wanting to use these for car to car comms and of course there's the professional arena so site to site communications, security and fleet management. Like the last set we looked at, nobody seems to have done a detailed video on these devices and the stores you buy them from such as AliExpress, Alibaba and the likes have nothing in the way of instructions, real demonstrations or aftercare. I got my radios and accompanying accounts from a company called Fontool and they've been really helpful in getting me started and the radios are actually made by Weirway. They work using a SIM card and a program to use a global PTT account. They use 4G to communicate with each other over the cellular network so as long as you're on a network they'll work back to back or in groups. These radios are solid metal with the exception of the screw on battery. They're heavy and have a hydro dipped camo finish but they do come in other colours. They have a really simple to use interface and a small LCD display. On the left is the PTT, menu button and power button which is also used for going back in any menu. On the top is an LED indicator, a 4G antenna which is fixed and can't be removed and a flashlight. On the right hand side is the USB-C socket which is used for charging as well as programming and the SIM card slots are on the back behind the battery. On the front is a small easy to read display a speaker and a volume and menu navigation button. The battery clips into place on the back of the radio and the supplied belt clip screws onto it. The battery can be directly charged via a USB-C cable underneath too. In the box you get the radio, antenna, battery, wrist strap and belt clip with screws. You also get a mains USB plug and charging cable which is also used for programming. Programming was done for me so when I switch my devices on they work back to back in their own group. To program the devices software is provided by the manufacturer for use with global PTT and other platforms. Once you've configured the software you write to the radio and it'll automatically reboot. Once it comes back on it'll log into your platform with the details you programmed in. There are settings that can be changed from the front of the radio itself. In the menus you can select your talk group, you can select an individual user to call and then there's the main setting menu. In here you can change things like the display type and the length of time the display is lit. There's volume settings for things like radio volume, PTT tone, keypad tones, mic gain and speaker gain. There's talk group pop-up settings voice annotations that can be turned off you can enable power save mode view the signal level display change the sim card that's in use and view the battery level You can view all of the device info such as the account, radio name, IMEI and software version and service info gives you the global PTT parameters that are in use. You can check the latest software in use. You can control the flashlight. You can also view the IMEI number as a QR code, display your current group on the screen and perform a factory reset. So let's look at the pros and cons of a device like this. The pros are that they work pretty much worldwide and for once the claim of thousands of miles of coverage is accurate. They cover huge distances without the need for a repeater or any other infrastructure that you need to provide. You can have as many users and groups as you like and they don't use much data. 
12 to 45 kilobits per second are the sorts of numbers I've been reading, but that depends on your connection. They're small, extremely durable with their cast metal case, and they're very easy to use in a work environment where people may not know how to use a complex device. All you have to do is switch it on. They have good sound quality and a loud speaker, and there's no interference or poor signal because as long as they're receiving a cellular signal, they'll work fine. This is a test of the Fontal 4G radio using the SIM card over 4G. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 from downstairs in the house. The main con is that they're restricted to a network, but so is a mobile phone. I said in the last video, a GPS fleet tracker requires a GPS signal, so it's not always a con, depending on who's using these devices. They also don't work on Wi-Fi, so you'll need a SIM card. I got two prepaid SIMs directly from Fontool, with 500 megabytes of data on them. If you'd like to find out more, then I'll link these radios in the description below, along with a playlist that'll take you to all my other network radio and PTT over cellular videos. Thank you.